Predators just don't sit around making hats out of rib cages. They conquered space. But that's not what's on the horizon. Should I be worried? Riley. I think you know what is on the ship. I try to give an entertaining film that will appeal to as many uh, people as possible based on what I understand to be my love for The Predator and having been on set and witnessed what I think, uh, I think we made a film John McTiernan would say, you did a good kid. I think the fact that, again, Shane was in the first one. Yeah, Shane's the only person whole, that could have done this thing. Yeah, the only one. The only person that could have done this thing. And I think the world, it's like a, we know that. Or yeah. we're appreciative of that. Yeah, right? yeah. So, yeah. My hope was that in this one, we'd sort of tried to do honor or homage to the first film where you had this very interesting group of guys that you really felt like you wanted to spend the afternoon with, right? So. Uh, how do we get people to walk in and see a relatable group of people uh, who have each other's backs? And I thought it was very important that they not be the super soldiers from the first film with the big muscles and the impossibly, you know, large uh, gadgets. But rather, uh, it was important they be good at what they do, but also important to me that they had sort of forgotten that. We're still here.